Hello everyone, this is Umay Hassan and in this video we are going to solve question number well that is 5 from exercise 6a of T to 7th edition. This is simplification of algebraic expressions. We need to do factorization. We will perform uh, operations regarding simplification. So let's start from question number 5 that is simplify each of the following. This is exercise 6a of D2 7th edition well part number A of question number 5 that is 9x into A minus B whole square divided by 27x cube into A minus B whole cube so when you need to simplify this one uh, you need to look for the same terms. Uh, I am going to simplify this 9 with 27, 9 1 time, 9, 9 3 time, 27. Uh, so it will be 1 by 3. You can simplify x power 1 and x power 3 when this x power 1 will go in the denominator. It will be subtracted from x power 3. x power 3 minus 1 is x power 2. Similarly, a minus b whole square and a minus b whole cube, they are like terms. So, shift this power in the denominator and, and it will move in the denominator. It is positive right now, but it will be subtracted from 3. So, your answer will be a minus b. 3 minus 2 is 1. So, this is simplified answer for question number 5 part a. Part B of question number 5 is again you need to simplify 7a cube and then a minus 3b power 4 divided by 21a square a minus 3b whole square. Now first of all work on number 7, 1 times 7, 7, 3 times 21, so it will be 1 over 3, a cube and a square, move this square in the numerator, it will be subtracted from a power 3, so your answer will be a power 3 minus 2 is 1. And then move this power of a minus 3b, these are like terms, move a minus 3b power 2 in the numerator, it will be subtracted from 4, so your answer will be a minus 3b power 2. So, this is answer for part number b. Just one thing I need to add over here that in part number b, uh, we have, okay, so I need to look over here that this is missed right over here. This was B over here as you can see in your question. Here I have got a B which I haven't written over here. So you can write this B over here in your answer because this was missing. It was in the question but it was missing in my solution. Then we have question number 5 part number C 8 A B cube 2 A plus 3b whole square divided by 32 a square b into 3b plus 2a. So first of all uh, work on numbers 8 and 32 will be simplified it will become 1 over 4 then a power 1 and a power 2 you can simplify them. So this power 1 will shift I will shift this one in the denominator and it will be subtracted from a power 2. a power 2 minus 1 is a power 1. Then work on the powers of b. This is b power 3. This is b power 1. Shift this b power 1 in the numerator. It will be subtracted from b power 3. So your answer will be b power 3 minus 1 is b square. And the last one is this term. Well, you can, uh, you can rearrange uh, this term. This is 2a plus 3b and this is in a square form. You can write the term in the denominator as 2a plus 3b because both are positive. 
3 b is positive 2 a is positive you can interchange their positions now this and this term both these are same terms shift this in the numerator so your answer now will be b square 2 a plus 3 b 2 minus 1 is 1 over 4 a so this is answer for part number c of question number 5 then moving towards part number d of question number 5 x i 6 a 8 a n cube b plus c divided by 96 a square n c plus b whole square first of all you can work on numbers 8 1 time 8 8 1 time 8 and 8 2 times 16 8 over 96 is simplified as 1 by 12 then we are going to work on the powers of a this is a power 1 this is a power 2 shift a power 1 in the denominator and it will be subtracted from a power 2 a power 2 minus 1 is a power 1 then work on powers of n this is n power 3 this is n power 1 shift this n power 1 in the numerator it will be subtracted from n power 3 so your answer will be n square now b plus c and c plus b they are same we can write b plus c as c plus b you can interchange their positions this is power 1 this is power 2 shift this in the denominator it will be subtracted from 2 so your answer will be c plus b power 1 so this is solution of uh, this part question number 5 part d then we have part number e from the same question that is y square minus 2 by minus 15 y square minus 3 by minus 10 15 has the factors of 5 and 3 10 has the factors of 5 and 2 I am going to perform mid term break in the numerator and in the denominator in the numerator you can write y square minus 2y can be written as minus 5y plus 3y I have performed middle term break in the numerator and in the denominator you can write minus 3y as minus 5y plus 2y using factors of 10 to perform mid term break minus 3y can be written as minus 5y plus 2y in the numerator take out common from the first two you can take out y as your common one it will be y minus 5 inside the bracket from y square i have taken out y power 1 from 5y i have taken out y now from the next two take out 3 as your common one 3 is taken out as common you are left with y over here and here you are left with 5 divided by from the denominator perform the same task take out y as common so you are left with y minus 5 in inside the bracket and from the next two take out 2 as your common so y minus 5 will be inside the bracket so you have got two factors one is y plus 3 in the numerator second one is y minus 5 and in the denominator you have y plus 2 and you have y minus 5 you can cancel the same terms so your answer is y plus 3 over y plus 2 this is solution for part number e then we have part number f that is 8 minus 2m minus m square over 2m square minus 3m minus 2 well you can perform it to break the factors of 8 are 4 and 2 I am going to perform it to break in the numerator 8 now minus 2m can be written as minus 4m plus 2m minus m square over 
2 m square now in the denominator you have to perform midterm break 2 into 2 is 4 and factors of 4 are 4 and 1 that I need I need 4 and 1 because I have 3 so minus 3 m can be written as minus 4 m plus 1 m minus 3 m is minus 4 m plus 1 m from the numerator take out 4 as common from 8 you have taken out 4 as common so you are left with 2 4 into 2 is 8 minus m this 4 is also taken out plus m no this is 2 m is out and this m square you have got 1 m outside so you are left with 1 m inside so what about this one in the denominator take out 2 m common from the first two it will be m minus 2 when you will take out 2 m common 2 is out m square out of m square 1 m is out so you are left with m power 1 inside minus out of 4 2 is out so you are left with 2 and this m is taken out plus 1 into m minus 2 we have nothing common other than 1 in these two so take out 1 and m minus 2 will be inside the bracket so this is now 4 plus m into 2 minus m divided by 2 m plus 1 into m minus 2 well so you can no, work on these two this is 2 minus m this is m minus 2 if i will take out a negative sign from this bracket as a common one 4 plus m so take out negative out this bracket from this bracket take out minus sign as common one so when you will take out a negative sign outside the bracket you will change the sign inside it will be m it was minus m you take out minus common it will be plus m minus 2 divided by 2m plus 1 into m minus 2 now you have got these two terms as same cancel them and your answer is this one you can multiply minus inside the bracket you can write your final answer as minus 4 minus m over 2m plus 1 so this is answer for part number f of question number 5 in my uh, next video i will upload a solution for part number g onwards of question number 5 of d2 chapter number 6 so keep watching thank you so much